Peace and love. This is Carmen of Crown Soul Yoga and Kinetic, Sea uh, Soul Kinetic Arts. And today I want to do a three card reading. And today is the 21st, tomorrow is the 22nd, and we're going into the new moon in Taurus. It has been the season of, of Aries, and now we're going into Taurus. And um, it is, is it a time of self-care? It is a time of uh, completing projects. Um, and it's, it's a great time to begin um, fresh every new moon. You want to let go of things that are no longer serving a purpose in your life and move on uh, into the new new season um, with new ideas, um, positive energy, and you want to cleanse. You want to do your spiritual baths. You want to do your meditations. You want to say your affirmations, and you want to journal. You want to write all of the things down that you want to manifest in your life. So a part of that manifesting comes for me in the form of tarot, visualization and saying um, the names, saying the affirmation, saying my words of power, uh, crystals, all of these things assist me in uh, connecting my mind, body and spirit and elevating my consciousness. And as a comedic Reiki, comedic yoga, uh, comedic, someone who practices comedic spirituality and philosophy, um, and it's a way of life, living, living in my art, um, living in truth, justice, and balance daily. So the deck that I choose to use is also um, based on comedic principles and um, the three cards that I'm going to pull today will uh, be something inspirational, hopefully, for you uh, and also for me. And um, the names of the cards, the images, are all something to reflect on and think about. So I'd like to first um, just bless these cards and may they be... Uh, positive representation of good things to come, past, present, and future. So I want to knock on the cards three times to remove any energy from previous readings or thoughts, clearing me before I send out positive energy to you. So, first card I pulled, Ta, Satet. She is the goddess of the Nile. Ta is uh, the family of Earth. Her spiritual number is seven, uh, based upon, um, so she's pointing to the constellation of Cirrus and um, her connection to the Nile and also to that star is why her number is uh, seven. And Satet is her name. And uh, this card represents purification. Um, we use water to cleanse, to remove dirt, to remove uh, sickness, to remove anything that needs to be cleansed and purified. That's what this card represents. And um, she also has those ram horns, uh, which represents the season that we're in. Okay, so the next card that we have is um, Akut Nefertum. Akut is the family of fire, and the number is five. And Nefertum is the child of Sekhmet and uh, Pata. And here you see um, you see the flames rising. This card represents um, the youth. It represents um, creativity. 
So the birth of new ideas, creativity. The third card that we have is um, Ah, which is the family of the moon, one, uh, the beginning, okay? And Amon. Amon is the invisible god, and um, he is in his male form. He has the head of a frog, and these are like the primordial uh, deities, um, the, the frogs, the snakes. So you see that snake that's wrapped around him. His female counterpart has that, uh, the snake. He's holding the um, scepter. And he is also known as the, uh, he's always shown in his human form as the god with the erect phallus. Um, also called the lifted hand of God, representing um, resurrection, um, the beginning of a new a new process and new new ideas new rebirth okay and creative power as well so we have three cards here we have satet goddess of the nile purification nefertem which represents youth and birth, creation, and we have Amon, which represents um, new ideas, new creative, creative power. So those are the three. Uh, those are the three cards. So I think that. As you go into this new moon, you want to think about, you definitely want to purify. So think of Satet, um, the purification and flooding of the Niles and the clearing um, of negative energy. And then think about Nefertum, being the, the child of Ptah and Segment. Um, during these Egyptian times, the child of um would have the left side of his head shaved and there would be a one long braid um, so that's represented in this picture as well if you can see that clearly there's that long braid um that goes down um and the left side connects to the spiritual side so um yeah, you just want to be in balance. You want to you want to be uh, connected. You want to be connected to your spiritual side. So you want to purify. You want to become more spiritually connected and more spiritually in tune. And you also want to um, hone in on your creative power. So that is the reading for today. If you're interested in more information, if you'd like to have me do any type of readings for you, I'd love to do that. Um, you can email me at csoulcometicarts at gmail, or you can DM me on Instagram at csoulcometicarts. And um, thank you for, for listening. Thank you for watching. Blessings to you. I'll give just another life, prosperity, and good health. And Ashe.